Will Smith is seen at the Oscars. Is this an example of ADHD, lack of impulse control? Before you go complaining that we're saying people with ADHD are violent or that we're condoning what Will Smith did, we are not. We just want to analyze what happened from the standpoint of someone with ADHD, which Will Smith is openly known to have and how that can affect one's impulse control. So let's get into it. As we know, ADHD is marked by several characteristics the one that we all know is lack of attention, spacing out, and losing things. They're all too familiar, where's my phone, where are my keys, only to discover that they're actually in your hand or in your pocket. And everyone's a bit ADHD, right? Wrong. ADHD is a neurological disorder which begins in childhood and is marked by poor executive functioning. What is that and what does that have to do with Will Smith? Executive functioning is found in the prefrontal cortex of the brain, where certain neurotransmitters fire up to get you motivated, able to self-regulate and organise yourself. We'll do more detailed videos on this. The long and short of it is that people with ADHD are short on these neurotransmitters and that causes poor executive functioning. What that can look like in reality is a lack of ability to organise oneself poor time management, trouble focusing or hyper focusing, a lack of motivation, impulse control and low frustration tolerance. For example, getting up on stage at the Oscars and slapping someone in the face, you don't see that every day. You can see from the video how emotional Will Smith became when he realised his wife Jada Pinkett was upset at Chris Rock poking fun at her. Will Smith appeared to be engulfed by fury and was unable to stop and think about the consequences before he took action. You can tell this because he was remorseful during his acceptance speech. Again, we're not saying that someone with ADHD is more likely to slap you. The usual way that it presents is a lack of attention, talking over people, saying what you think without thinking, uninhibited shopping, to name a few. As Dr. Halliwell says, people with ADHD have a Ferrari brain with bicycle brakes. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Be nice. See you in the next video and thanks for watching.